Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another Aether Gazer video. It's extremely early, my family's still sleeping so I cannot be as animated as I usually am. But nonetheless, the revenue for the month of October has come out and I did want to go ahead and speak about it specifically for Aether Gazer. To be quite honest with you, Aether Gazer is the only gacha game that I'm playing at the moment. So it's my only focus and my only concern when it comes to the revenue. But we do have some other juggernauts here that we could just take a quick look at. Honkai Sarrel, of course, uh, profiting for the month of October, which is fantastic. Genshin Impact, those two at the very top. Um, Genshin Impact taking a slight hit, but nothing too crazy. Nikkei taking quite a hit for the month of October as well, but I imagine that's going to turn around for November because they have some amazing things going on. Dokkan Battle taking a massive hit. This is, if you don't know, just to give you guys a quick history lesson on the channel, this is one of the first, if not the very first game, that I started covering consistently here on the channel was Dokkan Battle. The channel essentially started because of this game, so this is a bit nostalgic, taking a massive hit, but they always bounce back. Dragon Ball Legends is another game that I was active in, um, very slight hit, but those games always bounce back. They're, they're too big not to. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk about Honkai Impact 3rd was what my channel was based off of. Um, <laughs> this is what essentially made my channel um, and, and they're, they're doing fine, right? They're probably where they should be at this point in time. Anyways, moving on to Aether Gazer Tower of Fantasy we covered for a little bit. They're, they're not doing all that great, but Aether Gazer once again. So we took a massive hit, 700,000 to 300,000. Now, I'll be quite honest with you. When Hades and Hera came out, I was hoping to see this at like a mil or over a million. And I thought that would be a good number. Unfortunately, it was shy at 700,000, which is okay. Um, it's something that we, we would have to um, realize is the case for global at the moment. And then for the month of October, 300,000. Now, initially when I saw this number, it was a bit of a surprise, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's not that big of a surprise and not to be too concerned, hopefully. So let me explain. What we've had so far for the month of October are modifiers that I wouldn't consider to be too extremely hype. We had Eshu, who was in the standard banner, so that's understandable. Not, not a lot of people had to pay to get Eshu. We had Athena, who I don't think was too overly appealing or hype, to be quite honest with you. And then we had Oceanus, which is, once again, standard banner. Um, I mean, we'll still have to see Oceanus. I don't think he was factored into this. So we're really looking at Eshu and Athena. And, and those two characters weren't the most hype. One was in the standard banner. Um, so it, it's one of those scenarios where you can't expect too many people to pay uh, because they were probably already saving, had standard banner tickets saved up, or they just skipped all together. They weren't going to be pulling on these banners, which was understandable. Now with Oceanus, once again being in the standard, we'll have to see how his revenues look, um, because he is Omega Hype. <laughs> I, I mean, not maybe not Omega Hype, but he is extremely good. Um, but I, I don't know if people are still skipping, because we have the luxury on Global to have uh, hindsight or foresight of knowing what's going to be coming in the future and, and everybody's saving for the modifiers that they're looking for. Um, so people are saving for Anubis, people are saving for Thor, and people are saving for 2.0, right? After Oceanus, we should have Mardok, and I'll do a separate video on this talking about what to expect coming up after Oceanus. We have Mardok, who I don't think is going to be too extremely hype. Um, and then we're going to have Anubis most likely after that, which I think Anubis is going to be very hype. That should be a very good time. And then we'll have, you know, Flame Tear, Thor, um, not in that particular order. I'll have to double check. And then we'll be moving on to 2.0 with some reruns, right? Um, I think we can still be optimistic with Aether Gazer. Obviously, these numbers are not good. Uh, for the global side, but I think we could still be optimistic because 2.0 is where things really do take off. I mean, we're getting a lot of quality of life updates, but when I talk about modifiers that you can pull for and revenue being generated, it's going to be in 2.0 and beyond where we have some extremely hype characters. It's pretty much back to back to back hype characters from then on out. There's not really too many characters that are just not overly hype that you would want to get, right? If you think about it, We'll be getting Ling Wong, we'll be getting Jin Wu, who should be free, but I know people will try, probably try and pull to get double S, triple S, and things of that nature for her, because she's that good. Ling Wong is definitely a fan favorite. We have Gang Chen, we have Meng. I mean, there's just so many very good um, 
modifiers that are going to be coming out that are just extremely hyped and so that is probably where we'll see a massive bump in revenue i think what we can do is coast with these numbers um, we should see some spikes with anubis and with thor and then uh, hopefully we can push to 2.0 and then have 2.0 really carry us from there on out i mean if we're taking a look at some of the future characters like corrupted riaguri uh, Kagasuji, man, he looks incredible. And then the other ones before, um, these modifiers are really the ones that are going to push the revenue where we want it for Aether Gazer. I think we need to do some more marketing as well um, in terms of, you know, what they put out with promotional videos and, and stuff like that and, and just market a little bit better that way. Um, but, it, but it's tough when you're not making the revenue. It's hard to justify doing that. So um i'm doing my best in promoting this game as much as i possibly can once again it's the only gotcha game that i'm actively playing that i'm passionate about and the only one that i'm really uploading here on the channel at the moment until we have other games come out that i'm really interested in but aether gazer i'm all on board for and i do really want to see this game succeed and do really well because it is a special game and it, it does deserve the attention it is underrated i uh truly believe that so Anyways, just a quick video, wanted to go ahead and give you guys the revenue update for Aether Gazer and for the other games if you want to check it out. I'll probably have this linked in the description down below. Uh, you can click on that link and check it out for yourself. But anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all next one. Bye guys.